Here is what you can expect this Mercury retrograde. Okay, it officially starts on the 1st of April, and I believe it ends around the end of April, which will leave us in a um, post-shadow period of about like maybe a couple of weeks. So we may still see a little bit of its effects then. Okay, so let's see what kind of shifts are going to take place during this retrograde and how it will affect us. We have Ace of Pentacles. Oh, wow, Knight of Pentacles and Six of Swords. So this is already coming through as new beginnings, new opportunities, okay? Maybe doors opening. Take it how it resonates. I feel like this is going to be a chance for us to really work on building towards our future here, okay? Taking small practical steps that eventually will add up to forward movement okay like a more smoother flow okay towards uh this opportunity or this thing that we are wanting to build at this time here okay so this is really good um i feel like with this mercury retrograde energy i'm drawn to a lot of the yellow okay so it's really going to trigger our masculine yang energy to really take action and really put in the work here I feel like, um, because usually with Mercury retrograde, it seems like things are a little bit blocked or delayed or slowed, you know, in some way. And that is what is kind of going to direct us in the um, direction. <laughs> it's going to point us in the direction of where to go in order to sort of like pick up the pace is the energy that I'm getting here. So let's see. Yeah, because I get the energy of needing to kind of like get ourselves unstuck or get out of a situation that has been very rocky and unstable here, okay? So let's see what else. How would the Mercury retrograde affect us? Six of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this could have to do with home and family for some of you. Home, family, finances, career and how um energy is exchanged in regards to the situation we have the queen of wands reversed so i feel like what's going on here is that um something is going to change in regards to giving to an energy that maybe is not giving back okay that is um i'm just picking up on like a darker energy a little bit of like manipulation selfishness um it could be a lustful type of energy okay just lusting maybe after material things it could be lustful as far as like um um like sexual relations and things like that okay i just really feel like um i don't want to get too deeply into it because you know this is a situation that is picked up on in the collective energy that like it has been <laughs> picked up on for i don't know like months now and i just really don't even want to tap into that energy okay but this has to do with i would just want to say like giving to the wrong things things that are superficial things that are unfulfilling things that um take more than it kind of like replenishes if that makes any sense here okay um so this is definitely going to affect someone's um sense of stability okay or, or what they believe is stability here tell me more <clears throat> Five of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Devil Reverse, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, I feel like with this Five of Cups, um, it's about a chance to uh, like co collab collaborate. It's the word <laughs> cooperate, collaborate. It's about a chance to collaborate that it seemed like the chance was missed, but it's kind of like maybe there's still a chance, but then there's like this interference, this third party interference, this outside interference or influence that is um, sort of like what has been causing the struggle here. So I feel like for some of you, I really just get the energy of more things coming to the surface in regards to what is causing the struggle or what is needed in order to release the struggle, release the toxic attachment to this situation here and um just really how do you kind of like fix a situation that maybe you feel was either like 
tampered with or sabotaged or maybe you sabotaged it or just whatever take it how it resonates for your situation here but i feel like um yeah for some of you it's kind of like still needing work in this area to release these things here release the toxic attachments release the struggle release the interference the blockages and things like that but it's not um like, I feel like you haven't gone completely through the transition. This is something that may be highlighted during this Mercury retrograde even more. Why? We have two of wands and five of swords, okay? Because it's about um, your future here. It's about your purpose, your destiny here. And the work that you put towards reaching this destiny or this goal. So I feel like... Um, it's going to put you in a position to where you really start to think about your future and start to plan for your future and surrender to, I feel like, the changes. This is coming across as changes that may be taking place or like surrender to a truth is what I'm hearing also, okay? There's a need to stop trying to maybe control an outcome or control a truth and allow it to just sort of unfold. I feel like you're going to allow things to fall into place that will align you with um, your North Node here where you should be heading as far as your destiny, your journey here, okay? So it's going to require you putting in some sort of work or um, you working on yourself even, okay? You may put in the work towards yourself or towards your future. Just take it how it resonates for your situation. Is there any guidance spirit that you have for the viewers? <clears throat> We have the Eight of Cups, the Tower, oh wow, and then the Sun. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be, um, it's like a journey towards, I'm getting like independence and self-discovery also, walking away, leaving things behind that um, can't really come with you on this journey here. I feel like it may kind of seem like a, a long, lonely road is the energy that I'm getting here. And I feel like what's going on here is that um, you, I, I feel like maybe for some of you, you could already have experienced a tower moment in your life where there was an uprooting of um, a certain situation that isn't serving you. If you haven't had this happen yet, then this could be something that you are pretty much walking into by deciding to walk away and, you know, move forward and kind of like do things on your own here. Um, but I also feel like um, <clears throat> with this sun card here, I feel like it's the energy of kind of like what comes after the storm. Like I feel like it may be a little bit difficult at first as you enter this journey, okay? As you go through the shifts and changes, as, as you just sort of, you know, fix what was broken, different things like that. And then I feel like you're gonna come out with um, just a better perspective, a clearer mind, okay? A higher perspective, more happiness, more joy. Like I feel like this energy here is the goal here. And this is why for some of you, you are making this choice to walk away, to move forward on your own, or you know, just take it how it resonates for your situation here. Because I feel like for some of you also, you could be walking away from a tower, from a situation where things just kind of crumbled, okay, came crashing down. It was a foundation that wasn't solid. It wasn't stable. Okay, so this is what is leading you to this Eight of Cups energy of walking away into something that is better, okay? It's going to be more fulfilling. It's going to um, really appeal to your inner child. It's the energy that I'm getting here, okay? Allow you to use your creativity, allow you to feel nurtured, to feel supported, and things like that here, okay? So definitely some heavy shifts and changes during this retrograde, but I do feel like it's going to be for the better. So I'm going to leave the reading here. I hope this resonated, and I will see you in the next reading.